Uh oh, look what daddy did. Yeah, so I've been a boater for a while and uh, kind of sold our place on the water that had a boat lift and kind of hadn't gotten into boating too much after that. But um, kind of missed it. It's kind of a nice freedom down here in Florida to be uh, go out to like a sandbar and kind of just chill out. So we got some beautiful water down here. You know, the state's so populated that that's kind of one of the only ways to kind of get out into nature and not be uh, overcrowded. So yeah, I picked up another boat. Now this boat, uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Trip. Uh, Trip Smith on YouTube is a guy that I've been watching and love his videos. So you gotta check him out for sure. And um, he ended up buying a uh, one of these boats, and uh, that's what got me interested. Didn't know anything about him. It's called a Sea Dory. C as in cat hyphen Dory. This is a 22, and uh, I'll show you the inside. Still kind of a work in progress. I've got this air conditioner installed here in the window. It's got a bed up here in the front. So I've just been kind of outfitting it. Um, let's show you what's going on in here so first things first is uh, getting our bar set up so we've got some tequila some Jack Daniels that's kind of the preferred drink I've actually got Captain Morgan spiced rum Captain Morgan coconut rum uh, this is vinegar and olive oil just for uh, Doing some cooking right it's still got that old wallace stove in here i saw a trip took his out but i think i might keep it in it's kind of a nostalgic item but this is the diesel fuel for this stove on the top uh hooked up the kitchen first of all we got all our spices for cooking i got utensils in here um you know some cups this is the whole coffee setup coffee dripper some water emergency water I got like in a collapsible bowl right here for washing or whatever we need um, some wipes definitely need real glasses to go with our bar so got a couple of glasses in there got our Spanish coffee cups a couple of pots and pans So yeah, this is a pot grabber. This already has a shelf here, so um, put some more water, some more wipes. Sort of got like a, a catch-all here for just spare fuses for the boat. Um, I've got a carbon monoxide tester I'll set up. I've got um, all kinds of stuff in here just little odds and ends always need to have some of that got some spray some soap I got my uh, toothbrush some soap toothpaste dental floss oh and some uh, aspirin there when we have too much Jack Daniels 
Oh, I gotta talk to you about this too. I keep a couple of books, a couple of books back here. Let me show you these. Hold on. So the River Horse is actually a book about this same exact boat where a couple takes it across the. Uh, I don't know. I think they go across the United States. They cross America by boat. So I'm looking forward to reading that. And then I heard this was a good book too. I think Trip, you uh, you turn me on to that one. All right. So I turned the AC off. Maybe you can hear me better. Um, it's got a little dinette. Turns into a uh, to a bed. And captain's seat right here. I keep these towels on there just to have extra towels and so we get all sweaty out on the water and protect the seats. <clears throat> it's got a nice uh, chart plotter here uh, for when you're navigating. Um, there's the controls for the engine. We use this little Bose which sounds good in here. Um, 12 volt fan. And uh, here again is the here's the bed and I keep all the bedding in that right for right now. Um, there's the anchor locker up top there. It's got a hatch window hatch right there And uh, let's see what else can I show you so <clears throat> Hang on The seat comes off And so in here I've got uh, kind of some emergency food. I don't really eat carbs, but it's a good staple to keep on the boat just in case. Some mac and cheese, tomato soup, uh, a can of uh, chili, dog food, can of tuna, peanut butter, and I have another bag of food here that I keep just for emergencies. I got some sardines in there. Uh, ground beef, canned ground beef, more peanut butter. I got soups and teas in here, and uh, some soy sauce and miso soup. Yeah, just things to. Oh, I have one of these meals if I really get stranded somewhere. I don't really use this on a any kind of regular basis, but it's good to keep in the boat. And then also we have this little butane stove which will uh, also run off propane with this tank here. But this I'll just set on the uh, Wallace stove and cook on in here when I want to cook inside. Um, so that's what that's for. And then we also have um, this bad boy here, which mounts on one of the rod holders so we could grill outside. It's actually got a, a rod holder mount. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the rod holder now. A couple extra um, life jackets, propane tank in here, a little pro green propane tank. And also have, this is our dog's um, life jacket. And I've got a spear gun in here just to keep. All right, and then under this seat, We got life jackets and this came with a boat kind of a wearable I'll have to check that out later underneath the life jackets is a water tank and the water tank plums underneath and then goes to this foot pump right here that you press on and then uh, you can't see now but then the water should come out of the sink I haven't tried that yet <clears throat> and let me take you out back here so here's the uh, kind of the cockpit area right oh one one nifty thing I wanted to show you is I built these little rod holders that connect with uh, wing nuts just plywood with PVC and it sandwiches and makes a clamp I have a bimini on the boat this here will uh, kind of let me put a put an umbrella and so I could put two umbrellas one on each side and I think I'll have pretty good shade back here. And then if we go off to an island or sandbar, I could take the umbrellas to the sandbar. 
So uh, not as good as having a big bimini on the boat, but um, you know, it'll work. It'll get us by. And uh, <clears throat> in here I did do a, uh, a battery charger that charges both batteries and keeps them maintained all the time. I keep a spare. That's for a siphoning gas if I need it. Uh, some miscellaneous stuff. CR656 spray to keep the motor from rusting. I put a new battery switch in. New primer bulb. There's some straps and different things in here. <clears throat> Down here, I've got my whole setup for snorkeling and scuba diving. I got a couple of masks and these fins here. So those go in there. Um, these are the gas tanks. Two gas tanks. And then <clears throat> we've got two brand new batteries. We got a bilge put in the back. I've got this for the dog to go potty on. So we would take this out. And I'm thinking of sprinkling real grass on here. And uh, maybe get her to go potty if we're uh, not near an island. Just keep that over here. We got a fishnet, another gas tank, and uh, safety equipment. I put this block here to kind of keep this bucket from falling down because this boat has this floor leveling system. And so I'm going to strap this bucket in there somehow and keep fresh water in here for rinsing off after diving or scuba diving or just having fresh water to rinse um, out here. And then we could use this also for a bait bucket or whatever we need. Over here we've got a shovel. I've got a cast net in here, a small six foot cast net. Um, and then I have a second anchor in here for the, for the stern of the boat. Okay, big news. We have a 2021 Yamaha 90. This was very tough to get, pretty expensive. I think the motor was 10,000 and then uh, the rigging, the sales tax, I had them put a new steering cable on, all that was totaled out the door, $15,000 for this engine. And it was a big deal to get it. They're pretty, pretty much on short supply, but it's on. And uh, I haven't even taken it out yet. So that's pretty exciting. That should last the life of this boat. Um, I put a Honda generator on the back here. And so I put it on with um, kind of this strap that goes under. I'll show you a little more about that later. And I put this plastic over it in case it's raining and it's really hot and humid here in Florida and I want to keep the, keep it running. We can have the power plugged in here. And it goes to shore power right there. And that's what's powering. All right, so let me show you the uh, AC unit set up here. Um, this fits perfectly in the front hatch window. So here's the bow of the boat. And uh, all I did was uh, cut this board here, right, to length to support it, to keep it kind of level, but tilting back. And I put a strap around the window and a couple of uh, the insulation here to kind of keep the window protected. And it kind of clamps it down perfectly so this thing doesn't move um it's out of the rain because of this and uh seems like a pretty good setup seems like it's going to work really good um you can see the strap better over here i also had to put new windshield wipers on um these things here uh were all rotted out but anyway we got new ones and i put them on so uh i did route a uh, a little gap under the wood to the sh for the strap to go underneath. So the strap goes through the wood underneath and keeps the wood connected here, so the wood doesn't fall out. And uh, yeah, it should work pretty good. So I wanted to show you a little bit more of the generator setup. Put it on the swim platform back here. It's just a Honda 2000 again with this little plastic in case it rains um, if it does rain and i need to run it in some hot humid rain i cut a flap back here and i'll just uh clamp this up with this clamp up here and it could still exhaust um, but keep the rain off of the uh, plugs here so i could still keep the ac running in the boat if it's real hot um, yeah there's the new yamaha and uh here's how i mounted the generator just temporary just on a milk crate here um, the whole thing is I don't want to put any screws in this boat or drill any holes in it. So um, I made this clamp system up here where it's, uh, I don't know if you can see that, 
it's a stainless steel clamp that just clamps on and I put a piece of wood to fill it in and it bites right there and then this hook when I tighten this strap down it's ratchet strap here this hook will it just stops the hook from sliding off and uh, it'll crank it down real tight you know I don't want to make it too tight but anyway that's how the generator set up only need that in the summertime you know in the winter it'll be nice to uh to take that off and take the ac unit out and, and it'll but you know in the summer you almost got to have it here in florida uh, i've got this kind of janky rooftop set up but it's working i used to have a camper under this and uh i built it out of old pipes that were laying in the yard from our we got a well out here so we had a new well put in i kept the pipes and i welded them up and then uh stretched over this uh canopy it's been it's been up there for over a year protecting our rv uh and then i sold it and uh now the boat goes under it so um i just put these i know it's kind of ugly looking but i had some old roof in here and i just put them here to keep the sun off the boat it sticks out a little bit here and get some sun while it sits here so i have a tarp that i just kind of drape over the bow and bungee it bungee it down and it keeps all this out of the sun so um I'll be keeping all this uh, protected from the sun when it's not in use. I did put these bunks on. It had no bunks when I bought it. So I just kind of used an old signpost that was laying around and kind of cut it up and put this pressure treated two by four on here and glued and stapled uh, like some carpet. Um, but so that should work pretty good for guiding the boat on the trailer. I am going to have to do the wheel bearings pretty soon. That's about it.